I need to print something more detailed. So we're gonna go through the process of changing nozzle to a 0.4 nozzle from a steel 0.6 nozzle on this Mark III S. I'm gonna walk you through step by step what tools to use, what steps to do on the printer, and also what to watch out for so you don't get burned. To quickly walk you through the process of changing a nozzle, there is a setting where you can select nozzle change and the printer will move the print head all the way up on the z-axis so we have the best access and also it'll heat up the print head the nozzle and the heater block to 280 degrees which is very hot this is 280 degrees celsius burning hot the moment you touch it it'll burn your skin I've, trust me i've done it before you you do want to be very careful when changing nozzle and i'm going to show you all the tools that you'll need before you change the nozzle and more importantly which way to turn the nozzle to unlock it and also which way to tighten it and how much to tighten it's kind of a feel thing since i don't have a torque wrench but if you are really strong please do not over tighten because you will snap the nozzle this is just a brand nozzle with a very with relatively thin wall you will snap it off either you snap it off or you will strip it one or the other it, it, it will happen if you tighten it too hard let's get to the first step so here are all the tools you need to change the nozzle 2.5 millimeter allen wrench which came with the printer this is a 7 millimeter socket on a screwdriver style i recommend you get something like this with where it will hold the nozzle in because you basically cannot put the nozzle on by hand 150 millimeter adjustable wrench and any nose ply uh, this is to remove the hot nozzle from the socket click it and go to setting i have a few more options because i have an mmu but all you need is to go to settings and then scroll down all the way and you would see hw setup go in there and then nozzle change see that So we have to leave the steel sheet or any kind of print sheet on so it can do auto home. If you don't have the steel sheet, the Pinder Pro would crash into the bed and not find its uh, origin. So. so now it's going all the way up and you can see on the screen it's heating. I'll zoom in a little bit and I'll fast forward. Movie magic, it'll heat up all the way. Nozzle change, tighten to spec. So this is, you only hit yes after you get it done. So let's uh, go to a different view so I can show you how I take, remove the nozzle and what needs to be done before I remove the nozzle. First, let's just remove the steel sheet from the heat bed, just in case if you, the nozzle fell on it. We use the two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. We'll remove this front fan. It's not spinning, so it'll be okay. Once it's removed, you can just kind of tuck it between the belt here and then this one the fan is spinning so be very careful you might stab the fan if you slip if you're not careful and then hold on to this air duct because we need to, this to come off so we have full access to the heat block so now this is the heat block and the nozzle so that's a seven millimeter and this is the, the adjustable wrench that I have. The block is very hot. The longer you place the tools on the heat block, the harder these things get. So you want to do it quick, but safe. Put this over and then start ratcheting it tight. Once I can kind of feel it tight, I'll put this over. If I'm using my left hand, I want to turn it this way. This way for your left hand. And you want to hold on to the heat block while you unscrew this. Now that it's loose, you can unscrew the nozzle without holding the heat block so you don't keep heating up your adjustable now this part of it if it falls off you have to use something to hold it so this is very hard do not place the nozzle anywhere on plastic it will burn a hole okay i'm just going to place the nozzle right on the wrench here and it'll cool off then i'll take the new nozzle that i need put it right into here and so I want to rotate it this way. See, this is tightening now. This is screwing it in. And once I get close to getting tight, I will probably have to put this nozzle right here because it's going to be cooled off. Again, hold on to the heat block like so. And just gently tighten it. It's hard to explain how tight, but it's almost like tightening a water bottle cap. That's all I, that's all it takes. And once it's all in there, this heat block, if you move it around, it should not move. This heat block should not be loose. It should be fairly tight. 
and it should be almost center straight on like so. So now the nozzle is changed and we can put everything back. So first we put the air duct back like so. Oop, see, that hit my finger. When you remove the air duct, make sure this nut is in here. If the nut falls off, it would not tighten. So put this back on, give it a good tightening. The fan, like so. Bolt, find that bolt. Screw it on a little bit, start get it started. And get the other bolt on the other side and get it started too. Be very careful, don't push it, push this nut on the back here. Uh, there's a lot of times where I push the nut and it just falls out. So now we can use the Allen wrench to tighten the back up. Again, this doesn't need to be very tight as long as it's bottle, almost like a bottle cap tight, it's good enough. There you go, it's done. Now that we are done, we say yes. And that's it.